Louisiana Beer Review. We're doing a revisit, but this time with a beer that's in date. Thank, thank you. Baltica 9. And so this is uh, equivalent to uh, what we normally call a style in the United States, a malt liquor, malt liquor. But, but it's actually a European pale lager. It's a strong lager. It, they use hops, malt, and water. It's 8% alcohol. This is a 15.22 fluid ounce bottle strain. Why not just go to 16 ounces, right? Camera's right there. Why not just go to 16 ounces, right? Uh, brewed and bottled by Baltica Breweries of St. Metric System, something or other. Petersburg, Russia. And there's some Hebrew writing on here, which is telling me it's certified kosher, obviously. Best by May of 2022. This was bottled on in May of 2021. Okay. Wow, their beers get a year shelf life. Yeah, well, you know. So, Baltica number nine is twice as... Now, they're translating this into English, right? So, I'm going to read it to you. Baltica number nine is twice as stronger. No, just when you hear it, you'll, you'll understand that the person is not, doesn't have a great command of English. Baltica number nine is twice as stronger as classical lager. Owes we its, don't need to make fun of our Russian. We're making fun. I'm just saying that if I spoke Russian, it would sound worse than this. Baltica number nine is twice, doing an is accent? twice as stronger as classical lager. I mean, if you're going to make fun of them, just doing an accent. Owes this amazing strength solely to natural fermentation based on unique technology. Okay. I see no purpose doing all that. But the point I was trying to make is uh, natural fermentation based on unique technology, whatever that is. Awesome. You've never had this? No. Not the number nine. But you have had the Baltica. Didn't we do, we do the Porter? We did one of them. Yeah, we did one of them. The Porter is really good. Which I, I don't know why I'm letting you pour. I know it's going to happen again. Oh, good. Jealousy. We had a problem a few years ago getting bottles that were any way fresh. Now... We've gotten a new supply. That, no, that thing might sit on the shelf. Uh, All right. Pick the glass up. Come on. I know what's happening. Jeez, happened again. Yeah, but to me this time, <laughs> that's not right. It's kind of hazy. It's slightly hazy. I would call it like a, like a watered-down lemonade. But yeah, it's slightly hazy. Straw, yeah. Uh, the head is kind of an eggshell. It's holding up pretty good. Man. Oh. Oh. It's got that. <laughs> Whew. What is that? Man, that? Strength. That's a Russian strength. You don't know about the Russian strength. That's got a smell to it. Decadent Americans do not know about the great beer. <coughs> Whew. It's like fermentation. Your jaw of traitor. Well, it's, like something. it's it's bottle fermented, isn't it? Did you do a squish and pour? Just might be. It, it smells like some really rich barley malt. And I love what they're saying. They're using water, barley, and hops. No corn. No rice, no corn syrup. So the no barley to send off the smell. It's almost metallic. metallic. Oh, no, no metallic. I'm telling you what I'm smelling. It's like a rich cracker, like a saltine cracker or um, some other kind of... Why is it only you get to describe what it is? Go ahead, describe, All describe. Right. Hey, I get the floor. Go figure, kids. There is a slight metallicness coming off of this. And it's kind of like an organic thing. Like it's in and out a little bit. I can smell the barley. And those hops. It's kind of like those European hops that you get off of Heineken. Except it's different. The noble hops. Well, look what they say here. It boasts a rich, fresh, and pleasant taste with pronounced bitterness of hops and sweetness and sweetness overtones. It should it should say sweet overtones. 
but you know, if I All try right, to speak Russian. Let's go ahead and taste it. Yeah. Oh. I gotta look up the specs on this beer. Oh yeah, honey. Honey. You're making a face like <sighs> garbage. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like honey to me. Honey bread. It tastes like malt liquor. Yep. Well, it tastes like malt liquor. Mm. It's a strong, bold honey. It's like Sara Lee honey top bread. It's got some nice bitterness, but it's not too bitter. It's I don't know what you're tasting. <laughs> and uh, high, medium body, and I know and and we're kind of finished. I'd say the body's not high, it's just rich. Yeah. And it's got mouthfeels rich. Ooh. It's got a bite to it. Man, it's bitey. Whew. Right. Wow. That too. Whew. Sweetness scale, it's not really that sweet. It's probably I think so, two yeah. out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness scale, it's probably two out of five sugar cubes. Uh, hop cones, probably two and a half out of five hop cones. It's pretty bitter relative to other high gravity lagers. I think what's bothering you, when you drink malt liquor in the United States, they use corn or rice to soften the body as adjuncts. And this is giving you that barley burn. You know, barley can can burn. It's like a burning flavor and can be off-putting. Off-putting or off-putting? Putting. Like it, uh, it, it's like repellent. Like you say, oh, what is this? I don't know if you're talking about pudding, like something you eat or pudding. Right. That's the alcohol talking, thankfully. Um, yeah, just think it's a bold, very masculine product and it's... Um, A, sort of a take no prisoners approach cage Dude, you fight. Gotta, you got to be a man to drink this. This, say, this is a man's fight. beer. <laughs> if you were that Russian guy that you see classic, that old illustration where they were like uh, wrestling the bears and stuff, you'd drink this before you go in. Yeah. The feedback I've gotten from Russian people over this beer is not positive. They're like, why are you drinking this beer? Only the hobos drink it. Only homeless people drink this beer. It is not respectable. You need to do better beer reviews. Do not drink this beer. I am very angry. And I was like, well, it tastes good to me. Anyway, what is your, appear your appearance? What is your appearance? Very unfavorable? Not for me. So we have one person that hates it, <laughs> one person that loves it, and one person who... Dude, I don't know. I'm just not used to the, to the strongness of it. This thing. It's it's a lot. It's funny because when we did the outdated version, you liked it a lot more. So maybe it needs to age. Oh, maybe that's it. It tastes uh, stale to me though. It just it's it's strong. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Uh, it's balanced. Uh, somewhat balanced. And, well, yeah. I mean, you told me the three ingredients went into it, so I'm doing. Doing the numbers in my head. Uh, it's strong. I mean, it's a strong beer. It's strong. It's real strong. Uh, whew. Uh, yeah. Uh, judging what it is, what it is, I've got to give it a B. Like about an 83. It's like good, but you wouldn't buy it again. I don't know if I'd buy it again. Maybe. I just don't know. If you needed the boldness, you might. The, the porter was better than this. That's an interesting product, the porter. You know, yeah, it's, it's, the porter was really good. There's another one, but it's a wheat beer. I just don't know if we want to do that one. Might pick uh, it up just to try it. Maybe, yeah. They have some lagers, pilsners that they make also. Uh, I've only seen three of them, and there's like another slot for another beer. It's always gone. Always So I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's the lager. So you're saying B, I'm saying A. I, I'll give it like a 93. I think I, I really like, I like these bold beers. Oh, that's generous. No, I'm sticking in my like 82, 83. I'm not being range. generous. I just like it. I could drink it all the time. You know, it's pretty bold, you know.
I might have Russian in my heritage. I don't think I do. Irish, oh well. There I you go. think you might have an aneurysm if you drink this all the time. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Look at some of the whiskeys I drink. All right. Well, uh, how do you score it? I'm not going to score it. I'm not gonna score it, which means an F. All right, so uh, so we got an F, undrinkable. Uh, like literally, if somebody gave you a full bottle, you would not drink it. No. So an F, an A. Well, we can't be friends. Be ungenerous. A. Be ungenerous. I'm with y'all, Baltica. I'm with you, soldier. I'm with you, soldier. I'm down with you. I'm down with you. I don't even know. That's the alcohol talking. See, <laughs> this one started early. I'm it's down with you. Pre-game. Uh, in pre-game, I did, I did some br cognac brandy versus brandy from California. That was at dawn, you know. And uh, there was a wild little thing. But uh, who does this? That's all. Wild little thing in the brandy cognac taste challenge. That's it. Oh, yeah, and the wine we lunch. But anyway, <laughs> uh, um, so y'all go to Russian tour the Baltica Brewery.